Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Here's a quick video using Machine inside of Reason 11. Download the demo just to see what was new. I haven't really messed with Reason since version 8, so I just wanted to see uh, just how it was working, how they, what they added and stuff like that. And one of the first things I always try to do when I test out a new host is to see how you can route Machine inside of it. So I have just a really basic track just trying to test some stuff out and... So you see, I got some drums here that I have another machine instance that has its own little horn staffs or something in it. So what I want to do is route these three different drum parts to the mixer inside of Reason. So route them over here to the SSL. As you can see right now, it's just basic three channels for three tracks. So the first thing that I need to do is actually create a couple more channels. I'll maybe do three channels. So if I do this, then I'll just duplicate those really quick. So now I got those. And what I want to do inside a machine, if you if you're not over here, like if you're on the plugin, just go to the output section. Right now they're going to group, and I'll just send this one to. We'll just say one. The clap. We'll do two. I think there's a shaker. Yeah. So the shaker will go three and then I'll do both percussions on four. So let's see how that goes. So one is going to go right here where it says machine drums. That's just going to be the kick by itself. And then these other ones are going to be my other sounds. But right now, if I were to play it, you won't hear anything. You just hear the kick. So we need to go over to the rack. I really don't need machine open. I'm just kind of leaving it up there. And we want to turn it around to the back. And if you don't see this, when you first turn it around, if you don't see the outputs, you need to click this where it says CV Programmer, and you'll see all the outputs. Now, once I start dragging these uh, to the different channels, we'll be able to hear what's going on. So now I can hear all the effects or whatever I have loaded in that mixer is now impacting the sounds individually. And we'll see all the levels over here. We can mute, solo, EQ, do the effects, anything that we want to do in the SSL mixer, we can now do to the individual channels coming out of machine. <laughs> So yeah, really straightforward. Like I said, for those of you that are using Reason and you're used to this routing and everything, you know, this is probably simple for you. But for those who are new to Reason or maybe you're new to trying to use machine inside of Reason and just kind of trying to figure out the routing, just wanted to do this because it was something that I wanted to figure out. And as once I figured it out, I figured I'd just share it because maybe it'll help somebody else. Of course, if you got questions, let me know. For me, I probably would go in and figure out how to get the routing to go to audio tracks and stuff like that. And that's something that I've already kind of started exploring so for me i'd want to figure out how to track it out and stuff like that but for those that are actually working inside of reason and you don't really need to work with audio you just want to be able to mix and stuff like that hopefully this helps you out again this is saint joe machine tutorials.com showing you how to route machine to the ssl mixer inside of reason 11 like comment subscribe if you dig it if you're looking for other tutorials stop by machine tutorials.com i'll see y'all later peace